you know, I, so, you know. so all that to say motivation, mm. watching what, how you have moved and what people are doing and putting themselves back out there and, and being intentional about what they want and then going after it. Um, I really, I recognize realized I was, I wasn't operating in intentionality. Mm. I operate in intentionality with the things that I can control. I'm great at business because I can control it. I can control getting online. I can control my social media. I can control the narrative. I can decide what time I'm going to get up, what time I'm going to go to bed. I can decide if I'm going to travel. I'm good at it. I can control it. I am great in my PhD program because I, I can, this is the research that I want to do. This is how I want it to be presented. I'm good at doing podcasts. I can do my hair. I can set my lighting. The things I can't control, relationship, putting myself out there, rejection, um, are they gonna like me? I don't, I don't want to do that stuff. I, I'm not as intentional in those areas because I can't control that. Mm-hmm. But seeing you mm-hmm. and others getting on that horse again and getting out there and not being scared, it's motivating to those of us who are like, dang, I, that's what I want. Mm-hmm. But I just don't know how to go about doing it or putting myself out there. So I'm super glad that you have shared that part of your story with us. And then that you have this platform for individuals that are like, I really don't want to be scared of it. I really want to get out there and do it again. I just don't know what to do or how to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Cause if I, if I stay scared, I would have missed out on the, the wonderful woman I have now, if I would have let a uh, heartbreak or even uh, frustration and irritation and all those things and bitterness and resentment, had I let all those things get in the way, I really believe that God would be like, nope, because you're going to mess this up. With that bitterness you got on you, I can't hook you up with this because you're going to screw it up and then be looking at me like, God, why you ain't hook me up? But anyway, that's this is about you. We ain't, we ain't talk about me today. I'm, Ooh, <laughs> let, me okay. let, me, let me stop. While <laughs> but that's I'm the truth. Here's so so if, if we want to talk about me, Let's a talk. lot of men over 40, in my opinion, please don't come for me in the comments. I'm just going to talk about my experience, okay? A lot of men's over 40 are in a place of bitterness and hurt and frustration, which is why you run into a lot of, I, I won't say you, I have been running into a lot of um, emotionally unavailable men because they have been in a relationship or they have been married or they've already lived that life and over 40, they're like, I'm good. I've already been there, done that, been hurt. Um, And so now I just kind of want to chill. You know? Uh, Actually, I have a question for you. You can answer this for me. I've read this or somebody told me this, that a man has... I don't know what you're going to say. A man gets one good love of his life or a man will only open up to one woman in his life. And once a man gets hurt, that's it. Is that true? Because as I'm getting older and dating, it appears to be true. Like a man is like, look, I did this. Ooh. See, okay, you about to get started. <laughs> but but this, this this is good. So because we got to get this right. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's a great question. But I will say I I, I agree with that because I'm I'm 45. I just turned 45 in February. Happy and birthday. and yeah, you get that because oh, should I say this? Okay, let's be transparent. We're kicking it. Yeah. Um, I know when I was married the first time around and I always tell people I would never, you know, shame my ex-wife or anything of that nature because I married her. I was with her for 15 years. So what did that look like me trying to bomb on her now? And I spent 15 mm-hmm. years with her. That's, so that's, yeah, that's what I love about you. I love you even more. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. So I, I would never bomb her in public. Never. Um, but I will say that learning from that divorce it has helped me. I realized how bad I was at stonewalling and not being emotionally available to her at that time. So in this process of therapy, and because I've been rocking with my therapist for over two years, and the woman that I'm married to now, I'm able to be emotionally available to her. Mm. So I was able to give my wife at 45, not me at 45, able to give her something that I was never able to give any other woman. Ooh, so it is true. However, Mm -hmm. the current wife somebody's with might not be that one person that's supposed to be their one. Ooh, we, I I just did it. Lene, I just did an interview yesterday. I'm going to post a video. I had a guest on mine, Pastor First Lady. We was talking yesterday. 
And we talked about this very thing that uh, men, um, we just had this tendency to, if you hurt me once, uh, I don't know if I'm going to open up to you again, because uh, man, we just take stuff so personal. Like we, 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 we be like little chumps, you know, we act like little high schoolers, you know, it's like, when are you going to grow up, you know? Mm. Um, but I don't want to want any women to lose hope. Like, oh, well, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you have some out there. You yeah, have some, you do. um, it, you have some, there's a lot of good dudes out there. Um, I don't even know how to, the best way to say it. There, there are, I, I have at least three, at least minimum, off the top of my head, at least three dudes I can think of that are over 40, never married, no kids. Mm, really? um, and each one has a different situation. I'm not going to call it issue. Mm -hmm. Each one has a different situation, right. right? One definitely wants to be married, wants to settle down, but is super... Um, judgmental on women he's set in his ways and so he's looking for a very specific woman and that I don't know if that woman exists anymore not, not at this in this age category right mm. um, the other one he is super fresh and he would make somebody a great mate but he is worried about getting himself established first I'm like dude at 45 like you have a nice job uh, you, you have a decent place to live. He's like, yeah, but I need to buy a house. I need to do all these things. I'm like, you're going to be 55, 60. Like the whole purpose in having a relationship is to build together. So that's his situation. He's stuck on the whole, the man things. I got to have all this stuff in place. And then my other homeboy, he's way cool. He is just like, look, I can't have anybody coming up in here messing up what I've already built. Mm. And so it's just easier just to be by myself. And, you know, I date a little bit here and there, but I don't want nobody coming in here messing up my stuff. So even the ones that aren't, emotionally available who are technically emotionally available available they're not mentally available yeah yeah. I, yeah and i don't i don't want you know the the, the ladies to lose hope because i do believe because my mind has shifted a lot since going through what i've been through i had to do some unlearning mm. uh, and some unearthing and some uh faulty thought process that press processes that i've had in my head so there are some shifts uh, but I will say that I don't want the ladies to lose hope because there are some good guys out here. Like, don't lose hope. But I do believe, I will say, I do think men are better when they marry older. I, it, 35, 35 and up, I think you have a chance. I, I wouldn't, I, I married at 24 and was divorced at 40. Okay. You know, I, looking back, I was crazy young. I was raising a child that was 12 years younger than me. You know, that was a lot. Yeah. Um, and we had other issues and stuff too. That's not the only one. But I'm just saying that I think men, when you're older, I think you have a better chance with some therapy. With some therapy. And intense I therapy. I would say that therapy has definitely helped me change my perspective mm -hmm. on dating mm -hmm. and relationship. Mm -hmm. Um, it has definitely helped me to do some self-analyzing in dating a relationship. So if I had to be honest, if somebody was like, why are you single? Um, I would say I have not been intentional mm. um, for a variety of different reasons. Number one, I have, and, and, I, and I can speak on this because I literally had this conversation last night. Mm. Um, I, I did a lot of go along to get along, which a lot of women do right um the man will say this is what he wants or what he doesn't want and then we kind of just go along with that thinking that we can change his mind um when once i he he let me know that these were his intentions i could have been should have made a choice and decision of what i wanted to do but instead two two completely different situations both five-year situations that just went nowhere um and i i can't even blame them because they literally told me what they're what they wanted and what they didn't want right mm. and i was like oh it's you know, it's going to be different blah, blah, blah. and didn't vocalize what I wanted literally what, what they said was cool so I was not intentional um and then two uh by not being intentional I put it on the back burner so it was kind of like eh, if it happens it happens if it doesn't it doesn't um because when you're younger you know you out when you're younger and you're out you just meeting people meeting people when you get older you have to be intentional about it um, and then that comes to the fear, right? I had to be intentional. I put myself out there. I got to. I got to be seen. I got da da. So all of that definitely has played into it. To where now in this year in 2022, mm -hmm. 
I'm very intentional. I was like, you know what? I have to stop being afraid of the relationship thing. Like, I know mm-hmm. I want to be in a relationship. Um, and I want to get married one day. My son is 21. He'll be 22 in July. Really? Yes. He will be 22 in July. Wow. I'll be 46 in August. Oh, no, 46 in September. Um, so time is moving. Life is moving. He about to be moved out and doing his own thing. And I don't want the only thing I have in my life to be this business and this PhD. Like I got a business and a diploma. That's not enough anymore. You know what I mean? And so now I'm super intentional about it. I pray about it. Um, I talk to God about it. Um, I say yes more than I say no. Like people, if somebody asks me, I'm like, yeah, okay, you know, at least, you know, go out and mingle. Um, I am, I've thrown my list away. Oh, I was going to ask you about that. 